are you a lover or a fighter? Well, if you're a lover, come closer. Peace Holiday Resort has got you this February. February is a month of love and Peace Holiday Resort has the best package for you to celebrate your month of love. And hey, there is no dolling with Peace Holiday Resort because we got the best activities to keep you going. With our exclusive DJs got you going with the best music ever. We have fire dance display and couples come challenge other couples on the dance floor. Let's see who's best. Come, let's crack you up with the best comedy show and also request a song for that lovely person. Enjoy an amazing boat cruise party, fireworks and many more. We have amazing packages to suit your team. We have the silver, sapphire and platinum, which includes accommodation, complimentary sparkling wine and a customized table. Lunch buffet, I mean lunch buffet with continental and local dishes and many more. Don't do, come let's have fun. Okay, so if, if someone is watching us and they want to start their own catfish farm, what are they supposed to know? What are some of the important information that are relevant in catfish farming? Okay, with catfish, I mean, oh, it's just like anything. You, the, the, the major thing is the, you, know, how, you just need to know how to care for the fish. You know, you have to understand, uh, basically, you know, there's a certain, it's, it's, it's aquaculture, right? So it's not like, you know, crop or livestock. It's animals that, fish that have to mainly survive in water. You have to understand, I mean, the times to, basically general management, when to change their water, how to identify any sicknesses, how to treat these sicknesses, yeah. how to, I mean, the feed as well. You know, what size of fish should they be eating at per their age? Um, what, what ingredient is in the feed itself? Is it more, uh, at a certain age, they need more protein than um, carbohydrate. At a certain age, to when they are built, more carbohydrates, you know. So okay. you have to okay. basically, uh, top two things. I say number one, understand the management aspect. Yeah. You know, then number two, understand how to sell the business. <laughs> All right, y'all come back to another exciting farming week in Ghana. If this is the first time seeing me, I'm Charles Nasujo. On this channel, we talk about farming and agriculture here in Ghana. Um, we are still on the name of the farm. What's forget the name of the farm? Gromank. Gromank yes. Farms. Yes. I remember. <laughs> We've had a conversation with Kuju on how they started, how the business has been. Yeah. We looked at his portrait, uh, his piggy farm too as well, with like, I think, 80 something capacity yeah. now. Yeah. Yes. We've looked at that video too as well. So, yes, if you don't check those videos, you can go back and have a look at them. But in this video, we're going to look at catfish farming. As you can see right behind us, he has a concrete um, catfish farm in here. We want to know how to, how, why he started catfish farming in the first place. So you out there watching us can be inspired to start your own catfish farm. If you need some information about catfish farming too, you can be inspired to start something similar as well. Yeah, so before we get into the video, make sure you like this video for me. Like so YouTube gets to promote it to other viewers. Subscribe to the channel so we all grow together. As I said, 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2024, yes. or in the course of 2024. So yes, please help make the target um, a reality. Okay, Kudo, so I want to know, um, catfish farming. Yeah. In the first place, my first question will be, why are you going to catfish farming? Okay, so like what I said earlier, with everything, it's uh, you are a business man or business woman. Yeah. You have to understand what the market wants and then place yourself to supply the market, the demand of the market. So when I did a quick market research, I realized that um, you know, Ghana, we love our, our, our fish, you know, seafood. Whether it's snail, whether it's tilapia, whether it's uh, crab, with the okra and all of that. And uh, recently, you, should, you see that um, catfish has, has, because I think mainly because of, you know, Nigerian influence as well. Yeah. We yeah. Have, you know, we have a lot of uh, Nigerian brothers and sisters here. So mainly because of the influence as well, in a way. And, um, um, you know, just looking at, uh, or probably people also being a bit tired not tired but you know they just want something different, different. from the tilapia yeah yeah so yeah. if you look at it from that perspective you could see that there's a big demand for catfish, catfish in the market so i looked at that and i said okay then let me also place myself you know after studying the market seeing what uh, the price people were willing to buy it at what it takes to produce i said then let me let me get in and then let's produce and yeah sharp sharp sharp, sharp. and how long has it been 
these tanks have been here for this i think when you counted it they said eight months eight to nine I months i said april, right? april yes. so yes yeah eight months eight it's, months about yeah. there about two so it's been yeah this these ones are eight months yeah eight months okay but did you begin with this one i know you said you had one on the we water had one body. in the the big water over there so okay. with that one that one has been here for almost two years now so we've harvested i'll send you some videos we can show during the harvest uh, uh, period okay yes we can harvest period you can see the times we're harvesting there but the harvest over there was quite tedious because it's, it's now it is a river or <laughs> a, a, a natural water body on its own, even though we artificially made it that way. Okay. So the harvest there was a bit tedious. So we said, no, for now, let's move operations here. Yeah, that's what we said. Nice, nice, nice. But let's look at the structure. Mm -hmm. I know it's catfish because I've done a lot of catfish videos. There is tapoline, there is the natural one, the ethane pond one, and there is concrete. Yeah. Why did you decide to go with the concrete one here? Okay, so why the reason why we went with the concrete tanks as opposed to the tarpaulin and the um, other ones, the, some, some, some even do the air thing on the, that's uh, the big one we've done here, yeah, but yeah. on a smaller scale. Yeah. The reason why we went with this one was basically we just wanted a bit more of a confined environment where we could control a lot of uh, the elements so we know exactly uh, basically exactly what we are doing okay. as opposed to giving you know with a big one that we did like this there was so many nature there's so many elements that we could not control, control. so with this one there's a bit more control and then we had a bit more land very close to our piggy i said okay then we can do this here keep an eye on both things and then yeah so that's why we went to this okay okay and like so far how have you seen the market like the business like Catfish oh, with the business since the time we started about a year and a half ago, uh, 2021, that's almost two years ago. Yeah, there, there's, there's demand. We okay. had buyers from different, the point and kill people. We have some of the women that do the smoke fish. Okay. They also come around, they call us to see, they call ahead of time. They, oh, we, we want soon. if you are, you are it's one kilo, you just give me a call. If, if you get like 0 0.8 kilo, give me a call, they'll come and, they'll, I'll come and get it. You know, so there's demand. There's a, there's a lot of demand and for, for the product. So it's, it's, it's quite good. We can't okay. complain. Okay. So if, if someone is watching us and they want to start their own catfish farm, what are they supposed to know? What are some of the important information that are relevant in catfish farming? Okay, with catfish, I mean, oh, it's just like anything. You, the, the, the major thing is the, you, know, how, you just need to know how to care for the fish. You know, you have to understand, uh, basically, you know, there's a certain it's, it's, it's aquaculture right so it's not like you know crop or livestock it's animals that fish that have to mainly survive in water you have to understand i mean the times to basically general management when to change their water how to identify any sicknesses how to treat these sicknesses yeah. how to i mean the feed as well you know what size of fish should they be eating at per their age um what, what ingredient is in the feed itself? Is it more, uh, at a certain age, they need more protein than um, carbohydrate. carbohydrate. At a certain age, to when they are built, more carbohydrates, you know. So okay. you have to okay. basically, uh, top two things. I say number one, understand the management aspect. Yeah. You know, the number two, understand how to sell the business. You yeah, understand the, the business. business was very important. Yes, yes. But yes. yeah. people have catfish and they are saying they're not getting people to buy. You know. Yes. If you yes. don't understand the business of it and how to even go about yeah. it, I think it's poses a major challenge. Yes. Okay. Yes. So when starting, um, normally when people are starting, people ask of whether fingerlings or juveniles. Among the two, which one did you start with? So we got uh, at the uh, fingerling. Sorry, we bought the juveniles. Okay. So we yeah, we entered from the juvenile stage. And then, so we got him from the, we got the finger, we got, okay, so we actually, where we got it from, we were fingerlings, but they fed it for us for a while, you know, got to a decent weight before we brought them in. Okay. So that's the stage. But in future, we are looking to have our own small hatchery that we can, because we have some brood stock, the bigger uh, size, older ones, yeah. in the big tank over there. So we are looking to uh, hatch, you know, cross, uh, how do you call it, uh, let the natural process of birth occur. Okay in catfish and then you get the fingerlings from there so that we cut that cost okay. out then from okay. there you know. okay so for normally people when people are starting people ask this question whether juveniles or um, fingerlings mm -hmm. yes i always tell people 
But with the finger, if you're a beginner, they are very small to take care very of them. Very small, yes. If you don't take care, you end up losing the yes. majority of them. Yes. So at least if they've grown to the juvenile Stage. point, it's better to Probably go with them, better, at least yeah. as, a beginner, as a beginner. Even though yeah. they are a little bit pricey than the finger. The finger yeah. So it's better to go with the juvenile. So you don't end up wasting money or that's end up true. blessing most of them um, yeah, die out. True. Okay. Okay, so let me look at the feeding. I know when I do, I like contains the rice you, nutrients. You, you do your own feed. Yes. What goes into the feeding and stuff? Yeah. Because most people who do are into catfish farming, they complain that most of the cost has to do with feeding. Feed, yes. Buying or feed almost every time is expensive. So yes, with feeding, what do you feed your, your uh, fishes with? Okay, so now we have a machine that pelletizes uh, feed. We got the machine. I think there's you can get some locally made here in Ghana. But you can also import some from China if the price, because I think it's a bit cheaper than over here. But if you want it fast, you can just get it here. So we have one of these machines and we... So basically the same thing that the catfish uh, feed makers may use. Yeah. Maize, as corn, uh, soya bean, palm kernel cake, ground, you can get groundnut cake. Um, you can get uh, blood meal, dried blood meal. You can, okay, mix, you can use, the one you can use yes. You too. mix all of these elements and then you pelletize and then you make the feed. Okay. So that's those are the main ingredients that we use. Sure, sure. Well, when they feed you, I saw biscuits and stuff. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. So what we use the biscuits for over here is to just, you know, the, if you see the pellets, they are a bit crunchy. You know, okay. like you see how they are. So we just use to get a, we get biscuits from a waste fa uh, biscuit waste from factories that produce uh, biscuits, biscuits. You know. So they give it to us and most of them are actually still good for human consumption but they are they, they are they just don't pass as production quality so they have like rejects rejects okay. but they are still quite good so we go there and sometimes they give us for free sometimes you know you we have, have to, to pay for it give something small so we get it from them and then what it does is that it just helps the feed to be a bit more solid oh you know, okay that's the purpose so, it says yes purpose it says it just gives the feed a bit more form like uh, pellets like you know yeah. okay Okay, but aside aside that one to do the pellet form, you made mention of um, I think what was in the gallon bitter leaf. Bitter leaf. Okay, yes. what was that one to do? So that this is bitter leaf is mainly for treatment of uh, diseases, diseases in our water. Okay. So periodically, don't you don't don't wait for uh, the sickness to happen. Prevention is better than cure. So periodically, maybe every week, you can get bitter leaf, blend the water, get a blender, you blend the water, so you can make it very concentrated. Then later add some more water to dilute it. Or you can just, uh, you know, you, uh, like you are washing, you know, extracting the juice from the bitter leaf. You wash it into a bucket, okay. then you, you, you get the juice from there, then you pour it in your tanks. You know, what it does, it has a lot of healing properties for, even for human beings, it's very good. You know, you go to Nigeria, they have bitter leaf soup. Oh, okay. They make it uh, spicy nicely. It's, it's such a good uh, plant. Nice, nice, all, nice. Almost all livestock, even human beings, we have to start incorporating these things because Nature is very healing. It's just that we don't have the knowledge of these things because yeah, of yeah. now looking at Western medicine, everything is a pill, everything is a, a, a black tonic, you know, all these things. So we have shied away from the actual source that was healing. You ask yourself how uh, our forefathers uh, treating sicknesses before the white man came with modern medicine. Yeah. We also were using our techniques and we, we survived all the way to now. We have, still have civilization. So there's healing power, uh, powers in this. Uh, God has himself has put healing powers in some of these plants that we need to incorporate. I, I try as much as possible to incorporate a lot here on my farm. Mm. Yeah. So that's what the bitter leaf says. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And how many times do you apply it to give it to them? This one, I think every, once every week. Once, when I, I blend it, when I come, then... Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And when they feed them, how many times do you feed them? So this yeah. one, we feed... What happens is sometimes if they get too full, they can get bloated and then you know you can realize that they get a bit lethargic then can die sometimes okay. so we feed periodically we can even feed let's say around maybe three times a day so the first time we give when we realize that the their enthusiasm for the food has gone down we stop, you stop yeah. then we come back in maybe three hours four hours come and you know test and see if they are still they are a bit enthusiastic we spray when that also goes down then finally maybe the third time we also give but yeah, okay. you can you can equally you can feed once a day if you want. But make make sure that everyone is has eating is enough quantity that everybody has you know eating and it's fine. Sure, sure, sure. Looking at the structure with the concrete that you went for, um, how much did it cost with the setup cost? And also take us through like how it works. Okay, so this one here, it's we have um, the plumbing 
uh, how do you call it? It goes all the way to the the water body there. Okay. So that's where we pump the water from. Oh, uh -huh. okay. So the water moves from that it side. It moves from that side and then it comes to. So these are that's what these these pipes are here for. So when we use the pump machine, we take it all the way from the top there. Uh, now it pumps and it comes here. So when we want to drain, we also release the valves and now the water drains and it goes down into. We have uh, the, bushes, oh. the bushes here. Some crops are in there, so the water goes to water them. Oh, so, I like I like the whole idea. Yeah, so you, you you kill two bears with one stone. Nice, more, nice, more nice, 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 nice. So nice. that's what we do. Uh, so these tanks, I think per per tank, I think no, the total everything we spent putting all this together was I think at the time almost fifteen thousand. The plumbing, the plumbing included, may have taken it to around eighteen. Okay. It okay. Uh, taken it to around eighteen. Yeah. And how many rooms are they? There are four. There are four chambers that all contain. We actually overstocked okay. the fish. So we, we have plans of expanding. When we sell some, we will probably do two more. Either we will not continue, either we will do it at the... We will give us some space and then so do here. it over here, yes. Because okay. now everyone holds about 1,500. Okay. In each room? In each, but we are not supposed to go more than even 750. So it's almost double. Yeah. But we are selling. So we are selling as we, we sell, it gets freer. So okay. we'll okay. but there are dimensions per each room. The dimensions, I don't know the exact that what, what I knew is I, I just ordered that it should be a four perfect four square. Okay. But uh, the, I, I forgot I have to look all this, I put them down in my notebook and my laptop at home. Okay. So I have everything. So I can later give it to uh give it you the information and maybe I'll put it I'll at put the tag or something like that. So that's fine. That's that's fine. So I'll include that those information for you guys. Yes. But looking at the concrete. Um, how it was built is the inside plastered like this yes the inside is it's 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 done with um was this type of kind of waterproof cement okay so cement that can actually you know it supports water so we have we dig and we've dug it if you this is drain you see that's a bit deep because we dug a little bit into the earth okay as well to start the, the structure so yes it, uh, it's kind of like this but just like a different type of water like cement yes okay okay Okay, that, that's cool. That's cool. And how many times do you change the water? The water, so at first we were doing three times eh, every three days, change it once every three days when they first came because you know they are, they, are, they are kids. So sometimes even two days when you realize you have bubbles all over, meaning means that they are struggling for oxygen, oxygen yeah. in the water. So we quickly change. But now they are a bit solid. So I think this we changed, we, we pumped water yesterday. But then before that, it was a week ago. Before you did, yeah. Sometimes, rain. even when there's rain water that comes in, we can leave it as much as two weeks. Once we come daily, we inspect and we make sure that no mortality is being recorded. The water, the bubbles are not uh, uh, many, then we know that, yeah. Okay, but you may mention something very important. So, you know, normally when people get their fishes, mm -hmm. the first week that they transport them onto the farm, they get a lot of water like mortalities, this. yes. How do you how did you deal with that? We, we also had some water when we brought these ones in, we had about four hundred die on wow. the way. Yeah, when we got here, oh the next morning we were just counting them. So we quickly we called where we got the stuff from and he was willing enough to give us even times two. That's how come we have so many of us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so with that one, uh, it's it's I mean it's a, it's a, it's a major challenge. It's you know, challenge. You don't, I mean you can do the right things but then at the end of the day still it's, you get mortality. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think what is best is if you are probably hatching it close to where you are going to cultivate them. Yeah. So if they say the hatchery was just like maybe right here, we just transfer. Yeah. It stress. It doesn't stress them too much. I like I like that point. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. stress them too much. But if it's like long distances, you know, even human beings have car sickness. Sometimes we realize me when I sit in someone's front seat and we are. Right, yeah, I get nauseous. No, yeah, 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 I used to have that too yeah, a lot. So it's just almost the same thing that is replicated with these ones as well. So I think the best is not stressing them, hatching somewhere, uh, getting them for a close hatchery. Yeah. You no, know, yeah. not a long drive like that. True, yeah. true, true. So over my videos I've done for some time now too, um, some of the things I've also learned is, um, they have this pill, it's like red and yellow that they use. Mm -hmm. So when they bring them first, they Mix it with the water, water and give yes, it to them. Yeah, yeah. Another thing too is you have to change water regularly. Like every day, make sure you are changing, changing the water, water for them. Yes. And if they are transporting them to those transporting the fishes, they have to feed the fishes well mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. they transport before them. They and when they come to make sure you feed them for them to eat before you can yeah. 
transfer them into the water. So some of these things are some of the measures you can use. So at least reduce like the mortality you have yes. on the farm. Yeah. Else you bring them nowadays almost every time you have some mortality, it comes to the fishes. Mortality there, It's yeah. normal. That's why even if you are buying them, they add some numbers to it so to at least for you, to yes. at least compensate. So even so as if, if you are also selling you can also just like I mean give all yes if the person buys let's say hundred kilo. So yes, more ten kilo. Um, so maybe on the way, definitely. Might Something can happen. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. I like the way you also produce your own feed because I know feed is it's, yeah, it's yeah, expensive. Yeah. For feed, cause hey, it's expensive because <laughs> I got you doing piggery animal farming. Yeah, most yeah. of the cost it has to do with feed. Feed. So imagine you're not doing your own feed with piggery. You can't, you can't survive. With catfish and even tilapia. You hey. can't survive. You can't survive. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. Okay. So um. For those watching us who don't know the life cycle of catfish, at what time point do they mature, and well, how is it sold? So it 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 it, it really depends on the, your feeding, because you can have some fish that maybe even after a year, it's not there yet. But you mm. can have some that even within four to four, five, six months within that time range, it's a kilo. And usually people like to the point and kill guys they like to to buy one kilo and above yeah so what also what can happen is sometimes cannibalism they mm -hmm. can they feed off each other <laughs> and you realize that you stock maybe a thousand catfish then you come back to go and hatch you realize that you have big sizes but then they're only like 400. yeah they've reduced in they've number. reduced in number drastically so with that one day it takes a short short time maybe you can even get them ready in four months because they've eaten each other so yeah. with that one, they get bigger fast. So it's that, 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 that thing, you can also use as a tactic. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Even though it is quite uh, upsetting, if you don't know. But intentionally, you can use that as a tactic to get your fish um, faster. But then usually, you want to keep your numbers and then increase all of them in weight so you get more money. Yeah. So with that one, it takes anywhere from, honestly, on, if you are taking your time feeding them well, anywhere from five months, Going. Six months, seven you should, months, you should yeah. be able to hit a kilo. Depending yeah. on the quantity, here 8,000 or so fishes that we are. So we just have this first tank and the last tank have the biggest ones. Some of the ones in the middle are quite small, okay. even though they all came at the same time. But because you know, the, 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 yeah, some are the feeding, so some will eat before others. I mean, the survival. Sure. You understand? Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's another important point. So when you're stocking them, mm -hmm. do you, know you stock them all in one pond area? Mm -hmm. And later, you did what you call sorting, or how did you go about No, so what we did was we, 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 we divided, immediately we brought it, we put all differently, all everyone in different, so that they all grew together at the same time. Okay. So that it's not now that this one, we transfer this one into another pen, they don't, they don't in, a, in, a, in, some, in a weird way, when even one dies, he's here, he or she is here and he dies here, the others around will not eat it. But if you lift it and put it in another tank, you immediately realize that you, they, you'll be, they, they'll use it as food. So in a weird way, they kind of know each other. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So they know if one has, you know, one is smaller than them, them and has just been introduced to the tank, they will know. True. Then they will, oh, they will make, they will make. I, I have because there is something that normally call sorting. When it, sorting, when it yes. Like the fishes. Mm -hmm. you know, some of them. Even though we are like we are human beings, we can all eat the same food, but yes, some, will some will get bigger. Than bigger. So sorting. So people they, they try to separate yes. them to sort. So them. sorting when you realize that maybe after a while, it's feeding for a good two months yes. to three months, you realize that look, you have some bigger than the other. So what you do is that then pick all the big ones, put them in one tank. Then from there you increase their feed, so you get yeah. uh, you get to market with faster. Yeah, exactly. Then you can also focus on the small smaller ones, ones, make yes, sure that yes. they are also big. So that's why we, we I think we sorted twice or three times. Okay. So we sorted all the big ones here, and then, then last the one last one. one, and then I mean the middle ones are all smaller small fish, small. yes, but they are also you know getting bigger now. So. Okay, okay. When some of, these are some of the means too, you can also try to reduce the cannibalism mm -hmm. too. Because well, sometimes the bigger ones will be um, feeding the small the smaller ones. Smaller ones. Then, and I even know some. I've heard of instances where the bigger ones have some. They'll be fighting each other. They'll be like eating oh, on some yeah. of them. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, 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 it's survival, though. It's the catfish there. <laughs> they, they are. Well, some, some people call them mad fish. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. So yeah. they, yeah, but they produce quite good meat. So true, true, true. So, um, do you specify a particular breed of fish to buy, especially with mm. the fingerlings? With with the fingerlings, um, not not. I, I, I have not. Well, since it's the first time like we are stocking, 
were over here. I didn't, I wasn't really picky about the. I just knew I was getting it for my trusted uh, hatchery because they give us this the ones for the big tank, uh, the big dam. Okay. So I just knew that it was a good, um, you know, it was a good. The price was good, so I, I didn't really, I, I didn't it was not too picky about the the breed. So okay, I think mostly in Ghana we all have one particular um, breed. Most of the clarias they sell. Yes, yes, yes. Clarias yes. they sell. And one thing too is. Um, <laughs> When it comes to the fishes, there are some that you buy from, like this, like the pigs, as we're explaining. There are some places you go and buy fishes where even if you get juvenile, they don't grow. No, no, no. Huh. It, yes, it, happen, it happens. <laughs> they don't grow. Exactly. So you can buy them yeah. and bring them in your farm and you feed them, feed them, feed them, feed them. Oh, it's not your fault. They're not going anywhere. Uh, yes. And there happens. are some places you buy your fishes to, ah, within like first two, three months, you feed them, yeah, or you see that, yeah, they are like at least growing, yes. they are gaining like yeah. bigger sizes yeah. and stuff. So, yeah. Sometimes you can do everything right, but. Yeah, still. fish are not growing. True. Just nature is just like that. So with that one, I say still you haven't lost. That's how to you can get this. Even they are small, they are not growing. Hatch them, yeah, harvest them. I mean, put them in uh, the sun like this. Let's let the dry, let them die. You know, so, put some salt around them. Let them die. It quickens their you know the mortality when you put salt. Yeah. So when they die, you just uh, lay them out in the sun. Okay. Let it dry a little bit. Then what you can do is you take it to some of the some feed meals. Let them put it in, like make it powder. Okay. So you can get fish meal. For mom. Like that's uh, for feed. Sure. So with that one, if you get the fish meal, you can sell to farmers mm. who want mm. to. Because fish meal is, is good for like, it. I like, I like that point. So, yeah. Yeah. so nothing is ever waste. Not, yeah, true. Mm, true nothing true. is ever waste. That, that's a good point. If you, have, yeah. if you have a pond and most of them are dying, 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 then oh. they show them away. No, no, don't throw them. So that's they why to we use. incorporate with them. If one dies over here, mortality, We've not wasted what we do we directly we give feed it to the pigs. I like I like that. So in the end you don't lose. Make sure that everything is well utilized. Yes. And I like I like how your mechanism works. For pump from the dam here, yeah. channel it onto the crops. The crops <laughs> like yes. yeah. everything is like connected. Yeah. And I know with time as time goes on, as the farm grows and expands to like there'll be more things that yeah, will be linked God, together. God is willing for us, yes. Sharp, 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 sharp. I like that. I like that. So let me let's look at the marketing aspects. Yes. The, as a marketing student, please. There are people who are there and I say, I'm not getting market for my fishes. Okay, yeah. I'm not getting market for my fishes. If yes. there's any advice you give them on how to go about it, what, what, what would that be? As for marketing, usually, I think usually people people stop. Like what happens is they have catfish, then they tell one person, Oh, I'm selling. Then maybe they post on their WhatsApp status one time. Post on Instagram one time, two times, let their friends post. Then after that, they say, hey, nobody message me, nobody. But look, you have to con continuously doing it. You turn up day one, day two, day three. Day, you go on until everything here is done. Yeah. Because what happens is, you know, it's like uh, there was this, there's this uh, passage of the Bible that there was this time there was a, a lady who had wanted something from a king okay. in the Bible. And what? It was, she was, uh, you know, she wasn't a, a prominent person in society. So any time that she goes to the, the king's place, it's like, oh, Hami, you are worrying me. Who, who is this lady? I won't, I won't give you what you want. But the woman was so persistent that one day the man got tired and said, okay, look, let me give you what you want. Leave me alone. I use that thing as, a, 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 you know, a, a, a marketing rule. It's not like pester the person, you know, but always show up. Be consistent. Be consistent. Be consistent. Because assuming if, let's say, you are you 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 are selling something. I'm selling. We are selling the same thing. If every day you put yourself in the face of the consumer, as opposed to me, I come once in a while. Who do you think the consumer is more willing to trust? The more, one that the face is the one the face that is yeah. record is a, so brand awareness. So constant, not just focus, not just do. Oh, I'm selling pigs or I'm selling fish. Sorry, once or twice. You keep going. Then also direct calling some of these point and kills. You go to their places. Mostly, even if the the owner is not around. The, the workers can give you the number of the owner, call the person. Before you even call, WhatsApp the person with your stock, what you have. Show them, if you have ever sold before, show them proof that you sold to so and so person. So uh, then give them an, an offer, even before you call. Then you call and say, oh, I have just messaged you from so and so. I went, I, this, I'm, this is my name, I messaged you with so and so. Yeah. If you can kindly check on your WhatsApp. Even the person doesn't check then, then. Later when the person has nice, the person is going through their phone, will see. So yeah. that this is the one who called me. Okay, catfish. He has this. I can call them. You definitely and you don't stop just then. Follow up with another call. Follow up with a message. Yeah. Because we are trying to sell. So just keep going. 
use uh, take advantage of social media ads from uh, instagram you can promote your your yeah facebook your you can yes. also do that facebook as well. google ads if you have a website if you really don't have a website you can you can still use google ads to your advantage just you know position yourself in a way that no matter what you will be seen it might not happen instantly but trust me once the fish are still here and i mean you, you if the longer they stay you'll be still standing on a feed, feeding around, cost yeah. but once they are here if you can still spend on feed cost you are not losing once they are not dying or anything even they die like i said there's different ways you can process this thing. so with the market explore all options as, as much as possible to sell yeah. Nice, 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 nice. And did you any advice for <clears throat> a new beginner who is venturing into um, catfish farming or in the business? So what, what, what advice would you give that person? Okay, so with, uh, beginning, if you are beginning, don't let, um, like I would say, don't let, uh, don't look at what somebody has already done. There's you know, the magnitude they have done and say, oh, where, when will I get here? Uh, when will I even start to even attain? If it's a small, um, the tapolin one, you can buy that one in your backyard at home. Yeah. You can start with that one. You can start. You, you, like I said, profit margin. Farming is all. It's a business that is all about profit margin. If it takes you ten CDs to buy, uh, one, it takes you one CD fifty pesos to buy one fingerling. So let's say that one fingerling, one, one CD fifty pesos. That's cost of production. Now your your tapolin or whatever. If you spread that cost, uh, if you divide that cost to that one fingerling. You realize, but even that one is even a, a fixed asset. But yeah. if you spread it across to that one thing, and then it will cost maybe 50 pesos per that thing. And so now put that, uh, two CDs is what I've spent. Now you feed that one catfish, you will not spend more. If you divide per that one catfish, you're not going to spend more than two, give or take. You're not going to spend more than even, if you are going to really be, be, be this thing, you're not going to spend more than even, I think, 15 CDs on, on actually that one catfish. Yeah. So when you when you spread it across a, 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 a number, yeah. you realize that look your profit margins because you are going to be selling let's say 35, 30, 35, 40 per, per kg. kg. Yeah. So you realize that your profit margins are really what huge. Are, are quite huge. So when you spread it across the whole sum of like let's say 100 plus 100 catfish going, then you realize that yes, there's, there's a good uh, 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 profit to be made here. So. As a beginner, don't be deterred by, don't be scared by the point of entry. The barrier to entry for catfish farming is not, it's not too high. You can get the small tanks at home. You can start. The feeding costs might be the, the problem yeah. because they, they, will, they will require to eat a lot. But you can find different ways, like how I, we, we had to Do find feed, ways yeah. to find feed. But you can find different ways. Even if you don't have the pellet machine, there's this, uh, you know, you can use Gary. Okay. Mix gary with hot water, then the blood meal. Also, you boil it. When it's hot like that, then you add maybe a maize and pumpkin oil cake. You make it, it into it. a ball. Okay. Then now you can tear, you can, t you know, tear it and then throw. Tear ah, it and, throw. and give it to them. And so it becomes solid. Okay. Then you leave it in the sun to dry for a while, it becomes solid. Then you tear, you may run it into your hands. You throw. It Any way you can to make sure that maybe your cost of production is being reduced, but you are being productive. You have to try and do it. Nice, then nice, the medication, nice. the medical, medic, don't let also the cost of medication be a, an issue. There's so many herbs, there's so many, you know, you can even salt, salt treatment. Yeah, it's can new, help you yes. yeah, with the medicine. Bit, bitter leaf, throwing purple also in the, the purple leaves. I mean, there's so many things that uh, you can do to make sure that you are being productive. So as a beginner, just make sure, like video, watching videos like this, listening to what father farmers are saying, it's a big way of, you know, acquiring information. So I'll, I'll say uh, beginners, you know, you can start. Nice, nice, nice. I think we'll end the video here. With, um, if you need more information, more about it, I've done several videos on catfish farming. I even have a playlist of videos on catfish farming, so we can also check those videos out. Obviously, we can't touch on everything here, but at least I believe the information has been informative and educative to you. At least we might take away is no, no, nothing is of waste. Yes, if they yet. die, find a way and process it to feed yeah. and give it to them. You can even give the same the one that is dead to the fishes and they'll eat. They eat they yes. can even serve as feed for them. So yes. yeah, that's my takeaway. Let me know what your takeaway is from this video uh, in the comment section. So yes, we'll end the video here. Um, if there's any last words you want to, people to know, so you can just... Oh, I, I want everyone to go out there, subscribe to 
my master channel here. Very informative uh, content. Nice, nice, we nice, need nice. to support so that he keeps he keeps on keeps on for us and. I think that's my party message as well. Sure, sure, sure. And also my uh, my number zero two. Yeah. You can reach me uh, on TikTok, Gromang Pigs. Uh, on Instagram, it's uh, Gromang Foods. Our website is www.gromangfoods.com. Nice. You can reach me on WhatsApp or by call on zero two zero three six three eight three five eight or zero five four three three two eight seven zero two. Any inquiries you have, whether be it uh, you want any advice, whether you want to purchase anything, I am willing uh, to respond to all of it. So kindly don't hesitate to reach out to me. Okay, okay. I think this will end the video here. Um, as I said, subscribe to the channel so we all go together. This year, I want you to have 100,000 subscribers here on the platform. So please, let it be a reality. Like the video and share. There are people out there who want to venture into farming. They don't know what to do. Some of this information out there can inspire them to start. They can learn from it. Even current farmers too can also get some information in here that can be beneficial to them on their farm and help solve some of the problems that they've been facing for quite a number of time. Okay. So yeah, so that's what the video is going to um, be on. And that's what we are going to end the video with. So yes, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yes.